hey what's going on guys let's look at this problem right here here this question is asking in a free space b is equal to rho e power negative z sin phi a part is asking find electric field and the b part is asking determine the energy stored in the region rho is 0 to 1 phi is 0 to 2 phi and z is 0 to 2 now let's go ahead and do the a part a part is asking for the electric field we know that electric field is equal to negative del b negative del b here v, v is provided so we can find this this electric field right now let's try the generic equation del is basically partial derivative with respect to rho partial de derivative with respect to phi partial derivative with respect to z so if we derive the equation that's going to look like this we are going to have partial derivative v with respect to rho in the rho direction plus 1 over rho partial derivative to v with respect to d phi in the phi direction plus partial derivative to v with respect to z with z in z direction and this is going to be the generic equation now we know that v value since it's provided in the question we can directly plug it in this one and find our final answer so this is going to be minus partial derivative to v is what v is rho e power negative z sine phi and we have to take the derivative with respect to rho and here we have rho plus <coughs> plus 1 over rho partial derivative of phi with respect partial derivative of v with, with respect to phi and we know that v is equal to rho e power negative c sine phi in the phi direction and then lastly we have partial derivative of z with res partial derivative with, with respect to z v is rho e power negative z sine phi sine phi and then in the z direction right so this one is in the c z direction so this is it after you find the derivative you will get this one negative e power negative z sine phi in the row direction minus e power negative z cos phi in the phi direction plus rho e power negative z sine phi in the z direction so this is going to be the final derivation from the from the this one from this equation okay this is our electric field now the second question is asking determine the energy stored in the region rho is 0 to 1, phi is 0 to 2 phi and z is 0 to 2. First of all we have to know the equation of the energy that's given by u is equal to u is energy that's given by integral in the volume half epsilon naught magnitude of e square dv okay we know the e value and we just have to square that one in order to get e square and after that we just have to integrate in the region bounded region we already have the region provided so we can just do it right now let's go ahead and find out what is e square is let's get to this part okay now we are doing the b part in the b part we have to find the e square e square is basically e negative z sin phi square I take away all the negative sign because when we square the negative will go away so we just have to put the plus sign because this is the magnitude and uh, when we square negative will go away right so this is going to be e negative z sin phi square that's the first one and the second one is going to be what e power negative z e power negative z cos phi square plus e rho e power negative z sine phi square rho e power negative z sine phi then square this one okay after we square and simplify we will derive this one e power negative 2 z 1 plus rho square sine square phi and that's it yeah so this is our e square now we found out the e square and we have the energy equation that is integral v half epsilon naught e square dv so we can go ahead and plug that one 
and find our final answer okay let's get rid of this one okay let's go ahead and find our energy energy is given by u is equal to integral v half epsilon naught e square dv and then u is equal to half epsilon naught integral let's put the regions we have first one is 0 to 1 and then 0 to 2 phi and the last one is 0 to 2 right then e power negative 2c 1 plus rho square sin square phi and then rho d rho d phi dz after that after you do all the integration and simplify you are going to end up with negative 1 over 4 epsilon naught times phi over 5 phi over 4 e power negative 4 minus 1 and that's going to give us 0 0.96 epsilon naught and this is going to be the energy stored in the given region and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching